Hey, happy Wednesday morning to all of my friends as a part of the Leadership Boot Camp, leading the heart of the community. What are we doing this week? This week, we've posted videos on systems to engage community. Systems to engage community. So there's a new video on fund development. Now, what I've done is taken the training video, from a training video from our Let Them Be Kids program that has literally helped to raise millions of dollars all across North America and beyond hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars in specific communities and cumulatively millions upon millions. In 160 projects, we learned some key attributes to tapping into the discretionary donation dollar in today's marketplace. The battle for the discretionary donation dollar is more intense than it's ever been. And so we think that the fund development strategy or the fund development system that an organization has must be highly sophisticated. But sophistication does not mean complex. Leonardo da Vinci said that sophistication was simplicity. So I want you to check out that video now. It's 45 minutes in length. And although the focus is raising money for a playground or a skate park, the principles transcend all organizational types and all missions and purposes. It works, and we've seen it work in many, many ways, and even here in Northern Nevada, help raise $7.2 million in 28 months. Check it out. In addition, we've, if you tracked your time, hopefully you tracked your time, if that was uh, important to you, maximizing use of your time, we've just posted a video of what that can mean and what you do with that information. Tomorrow, I'll be posting information about how to expand your sphere of influence through a process that we call a hundred cups of coffee. I want you to check that information out. It's powerful. And at the end of the week, I'm going to give you a video on how do I, how do you, how do we recruit and retain volunteers, a system for recruiting and retaining volunteers. So three things this week. One, a system for fund development. Two, a system for recruiting and retaining volunteers, and three, a system for expanding your sphere of influence so you can have greater influence in your community. And then finally, making sure that you watch that video if you track your time. Here's a final thought for the week. Alignment. Alignment. There is significant power in alignment. You heard me talk about it in the time that we were together. Are you in alignment personally? with your values, your principles, and what you stand for, and how do people see it? Secondly, is your organization and the volunteers, part-time staff and full-time staff, are they in alignment with the mission, the purpose, the values of the organization? And then finally, is your organization in alignment in the community? For a system to work, there must be alignment. If any part of the system is misaligned, or weakened, the system will fail. You think about that as you go through the rest of your week. Look for alignment. Are you in alignment? Is the organization in alignment? And is the organization in alignment with the community? If not, you can't fulfill your important and vital role as the heart of the community. Think about it. Check out the videos from this week. Next week's our last time together. Take care, everybody.